let's get back to smiling <clears throat> friends. Any tattoos? Are people sh- sending you tattoos of your characters? I've surprisingly mm. seen uh, not that many, but I have seen one or two. Somebody did, forgive me if you're listening to this and I don't remember your name, but somebody a while ago tweeted at uh, Michael and I, like, not even not even a screenshot from the show, but like the shitty sketches that that I drew on. So it takes a little bit of explaining. Basically, Michael and I did this little live stream thing called the Very Positive Stream. And on the last one that we did, we ended it by saying, go watch the Smiling Friends pilot. And I just shittily drew the character, the heads of the characters. And I don't know why, but somebody decided to get that version tattooed on like their arm or their leg or something. And uh, it mortified me, you know. Like I've always, if somebody wants to get a shocking tattoo, I'm all, I'm always uh, on board with that. But my point was, why not get like a better drawing of the characters? But maybe that's the joke. You know what I mean? That's a nice one. Look at that. Sorry, this is audio. But somebody just posted in the chat there, Charlie uh, from the Mister Frog episode, sipping his this little cocktail there, looking like a stud with his little crucifix. But yeah, oh, I've, yes. yeah, I've, uh, yeah, I've seen a few. I've seen a few. That one was the most shocking to me, just because it's like, or maybe it's the most reasonable. I don't know. Well. It almost seems like that could, should be the goal eventually. I mean, you've seen like purposefully terrible Simpsons tattoos, right? Or it'll, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you those. know, it, it'll be like Bert, and it's the horrible drawing of of Bart. But th- there's like some sort of <laughs> arc, there's some sort of like bell curve where something eventually becomes uh, like so well known that an ironically terrible version of it is more interesting. Than the a facsimile of the no, actual I totally thing, agree. and I and I would even say at the kind of the peak or right before the peak of that of that curve, somebody's just posted it. But the uh, the Brian Griffin rip R I P tattoo. Now several people got that. For people that don't remember, because it was almost ten years ago now, which is crazy to me. Family Guy killed off Brian, the Brian the dog, the Brian the mm. dog, and mm. people panicked and, and sincerely thought that. Uh, they were going to kill off Brian, but they did it for like two episodes. So a bunch of people in that break between when they killed him off and when they brought him back got tattoos of Brian with all sincerity, no joke, no irony, with a big like rest in peace thing. That to me, that to <laughs> oh, me is my no. favorite because it, it is – it's totally fucking sincere. They were like, dude, I got to st- stand in solidarity with Brian Griffin. And then, you know, <laughs> did they raise the tattoos off? I hope they left it on. I hope they just went, all right, I'm just going to – just going to – be 90 years old with his Rip Brian tattoo. Because <laughs> when they brought it back, it almost became good, ironically. It was like a shitty tattoo that became awesome when they didn't kill him off. I don't know. I love that. <laughs> who who would you get a tattoo of uh, to, to honor in such oh. a manner? Oh, my God. That's an amazing question. Uh, of all the people on the whole fucking planet, who would I get a tattoo of? I think the ones with people's like realistically rendered heads are kind of interesting. So I definitely choose, I would choose a real person. So you're on the right thing there. Um, probably somebody really deformed just, just for the, just cause it also feels like you're doing something respectful. You know what I mean? Like somebody with that severely, you know, not, not like <laughs> if they're deformed, like the elephant man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, like an elephant man, like guy or somebody with a horrible disease, not to make fun of them for heaven's sake, but just to like, if you're going to go big, you know, go big or go home is what I say. Like, yeah, somebody's posted, I literally cannot tell if that's Obama or if that's the fucking musician Drake. That looks like an exact, like, face app fusion of the two. Yeah, somebody got the elephant man. Sorry, I'm referring to the chat again. I'm sure we'll pop these in. Yeah, yeah, I'd get, like, the elephant man or somebody with, like, a, like, you know, big bug eyes or something. Who is that horrible, horrible, uh, deformed sex offender that was popular on the internet, like, 10 oh, years Brian ago? Brian Peppers. Brian Peppers, he'd be Brian a good Peppers, one to get. Yeah. It would just feel like, stay back or something. Like, imagine if it was like Brian Peppers and it just said, stay back. You know what I mean? What What if it says misunderstood? Misunderstood. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. I think that's a good one, too. It's misunderstood. And you're like, what? The guy? You're like, no, no, no. no this, I'm not saying the guy was misunderstood. I'm saying the situation, the, the whole look of him, the whole idea of him. <laughs> oh, no. Now, someone put a Brian <sighs> Peppers tattoo in the episode chat. That's what oh, I'm my general chat. Somebody beat me What's to it. Say? It says God don't make no trash. That's better than anything. I, I love. I the, chose the pic, the perfect picture for that too. The expression there is like, it's ecstasy. That's exactly oh. what I'd want to memorialize too. I'm I'm pretty sure that's a quote from a David Cross bit where he he's he, David Cross had a whole stand up bit where he was making fun of like ironic T-shirts. This was like 20 years ago, 
And uh, that was what well, was one of the lines was like a shirt that said, God, don't make no trash. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure that that's it's a great quote. That's, that's referencing, you know, that quote buried with that gentleman, I think, um, uh, I think is perfect. I don't think you can get any better than that. I take back what I said, stand back or whatever. No, I, you know, or, or even the, uh, the dumpster, uh, you know, father and son duo, the, uh, take your swing guys. They'd be a good one too. Again, just a nice kind of who? stand. Wait, who is that? Oh, oh, you know that? Well, so this, does anybody know who I'm talking? Somebody got Gollum, Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, 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 uh, the take your swing guys. It was two fucking, uh, the mattress brothers. Yeah. Yeah. They're not brothers, but I call them mattress brothers. It was, uh, it was like a trash dispute in, in Texas and it's a giant redheaded, not a redheaded, not, not like red hair, but like a red faced angry man screaming at these two shirtless hillbillies who look like clones of each other, but one's the father and one's the son. And they're both, they're both like literally the father looks like an older version of the son and it's a horrible gore video. So don't <laughs> watch it for heaven. It's not even funny. I wouldn't watch it, but it's, it's great. So what happens is uh, the father has got like a little pistol and the son's got like a shotgun and they're just screaming at each other about trash. And the guy who's screaming at them is saying, like, I want to fucking kill you. And they're like, I doubt it. I doubt it. Take your swing. Go ahead do it. <laughs> and it basically ends with him taking his swing and they end up shooting him. But, um, it's a very interesting little microcosm of wherever that took place. So I, maybe those guys, not to idolize them, absolutely not, but just kind of, you know. They, just they so, shoot him, like they shoot him dead? They shoot him dead, yeah, yeah. They stand the ground, unfortunately, and shoot him dead. He like swings a big two by four at him. You don't see gore, because it's like the person recording is the wife or, or the fiance of the screaming guy who's screaming at the trash twins. And she's like egging him on to do it. You know what I mean? She's like, go ahead, fucking do something. And then they do something and then she, you know, screams. Is it's this really on YouTube? Yeah, it was for a while. It's really tragic. Have they removed it since? Is it like. Yeah, a... I, I don't think that's on YouTube anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. YouTube used to have insane shit on it, but it really got wiped. You know, I'm not even making a judgment one way or the other, but they used to have some, some kooky stuff on there. What's another example of that? Oh, God. Uh, I mean, just anything shocking like that, you know, it all moved to live leak or like bit shoot. And every time I go to one of those websites, I feel like I'm getting tracked by the FBI. So I like you have to <laughs> boot up a VPN or something. I don't know. That's a crazy one. Somebody's just posted their pim in his little cowboy. I fit fly in the little bird for episode oh, three, awesome. the little dove. That's a good one. I wonder if the Bud Dwyer thing was ever on YouTube. I feel like that was. That's another good oh, example. Jesus. I feel like that was on YouTube at one point. Yeah. Yeah. That was life altering. Kevin have there been any Vsauce tattoos? Vsauce 2 tattoos? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm sure somebody's gotten Michael, right? Somebody had to have gotten Vsauce probably, Michael. Probably someone has Michael on them somewhere. Let's get, let's get going to it. Let's let's get it going. Let's get, why stop at just Vsauce 1? Let's get all three. I'd say get the Holy Trinity. Get a tattoo of all of them and then you know tweet the results. 